Okay guys, we're gonna try something a little different. Uh, kind of more of the same in the survival horror horror genre. Uh, but Haunting Ground uh, from Capcom, if you guys haven't heard of this, uh, I barely have either. I know that it was uh, kind of hard to come by, a little bit rare. Uh, and that's about all I know about it. I know that there's a dog on the cover, and uh, this girl, I know that uh, I've heard uh, people have been talking about it recently, just a little bit, that I follow at least, uh, about how when it came out it was kind of panned uh, by critics for over-sexualization of the female lead. Uh, I, I don't know how accurate or not that is. Uh, but let's jump in. This this is totally blind for me. I haven't played this at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna crank the volume a little bit since it's supposed to be a little bit spooky at parts. I'm sure survival horror does that. Um, yeah, I'm wondering what it's gonna be like. It's a Capcom game, it, so I'm wondering if it's similar to the early Resident Evil games. Maybe I don't know. Let's dive in. up three times there. Yeah, this is a place you want to get out of. Let's just leave. <laughs> oh. To be fair, they probably could have given her some more clothes initially. <laughs> 
Interesting setup. Uh, locked in a cage right off the bat. Oh, and we're in. Okay, I can run. Okay, that's about all I can do. I have a pause. This is options. Or, it's not options, it's select. <laughs> Where am I? I was in a car with my parents and I... It's no good, everything seems so fuzzy. Okay. What am I looking around for? Where am I? The air smells funny. I didn't catch all of that. See, I'm pressing. Looks like it's circled to interact in this game. What's this urn doing over here? Nothing. Is there anything in the bucket right here? No. Nothing on that one. Large tree is sprawled out. Is sprawled out here. Like a brick right there. A fountain. Looks like it's quite the antique. This door is being blocked by that wooden box. There's gotta be something I can do. There's a hole here, but it's far too small for me. Just exploring. I know that it wants me to go up there since we got a uh, scary sounds. Oops. Maybe this was some kind of kennel for keeping animals. There are feathers and fur in the cage. There are feathers and fur in the cage. For there to be this much, it must have been torn off. It's hard to say what kind of animal it was, but whatever it was, I don't think it is still alive. Same thing. There's something in there. Such a large door. What could be on the other side? Oh, I can go through here. Well, there's something shiny on the ground. You've obtained chamomile. Oh, I can close it behind me. That's interesting. Nothing around here. Okay. Oh, there's a broom right there. Can I get the broom? No, but I can close this. Yeah, I don't even want to look at the broom. Looks like that's about all we can do out here right now. I don't want to mention any of the flowers. box over here. wonder what kind of room is on the other side. I can see the light flicker from candles inside, but it's too dark to see anything else. Same thing. There's 
the door. It's bolted shut from the other side. I'm not going to be able to open this. Man, she can run upstairs. That's some speed right there. Can I look in the window? Can I look in over here? Nope. Can't just walk around all day holding these sheets around me. Call me old fashioned. But I would prefer, prefer a normal set of clothes to these bed sheets. I think that's fair. Okay, so is it just not gonna let me interact with anything? Okay. Well, is there clothes in here? Are there clothes in here? That was a dresser. What do you want me to do? Okay. some clothes for you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, um, uh, wait, don't go. Um, excuse me, but where are we? And how did I get here? He seems displeased. Yes, master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. <sighs> okay, so the accident. Something to do with the accident. He might have been there. Or somebody was. Is she gone now? Okay. Um. What did you notice in that? She has a symbol on her shoulder. Like a birthmark or something. Do you think that has anything to do? with anything. Can I look at the his picture at least? No. We gotta take these clothes quick. There's a change of clothes that ma that maid has apparently laid out. Change clothes? I don't think I have an option. creepiness <laughs> He looks so mad
Wait a minute. I remember being in the car with... Yes? That worked. But what should I do? If I could just find a map of this place, then I could get my bearings. Okay, you are now able to perform the following new actions in the game. Kick. Use this to smash certain background objects or to stun some enemies. Triangle is throw or set. Throw some objects after equipping them or place them down on the ground. You can also crouch. Use this maneuver to crouch down in the shadows and make it harder for enemies to find you. And we can backstep to avoid attacks. We've got stamina, okay. Some background objects can be moved by pushing the left analog stick or directional buttons in the direction of the object you want to move. That makes sense. After running for a few seconds, press square to tackle an enemy. If you're able to hit the enemy with this move, you can shove them out of your way, but you'll lose a large amount of stamina in the process. Okay, I saved it to my file. Can I search now? A chest used to store clothes. Wonder whose portrait this is. What a powerful piece of art. The eyes really feel like they're peering deep into one's soul. The fire burns, emitting a red glow. The room is heated to a comfortable temperature. The clock etches out moments in time. Save current game? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Game data successfully saved. Very nice. There's a pair of scales lying here. It looks like their purpose is more one of decoration than that of actually weighing things. There's like a box on this. Can I not look at it? No. I hope this TV works. I mean, I don't know that I need it on right this second. A bird cage. Right now there's nothing in it. Oh, I thought she was lining up to talk about something there. There's an antique doll lying here. The man pictured here has a noble air about him. I wonder how long ago this portrait was painted. Okay, well, I've got clothes. Oh, there are urns down there that I can probably kick, right? No, oh, that's not a door. This is the door. There were urns down here. Come on. Huh? What's this? It's a medallion. Oh. <laughs> you missed. There we go. What is this box doing here? Nothing. So that's... Oh, that's crouch. Nice. So it's just crouch. I can't crouch and move. That's good to know. Oh, that's tackle. I don't see a, a gauge or anything, though. For stamina. So I don't know how I'll know that I'll be out of stamina. Maybe it's the kind of thing that I have unlimited stamina until something happens. There was another urn down here that I'll go get real quick. Or I'll miss. Huh? What's this? Magnesia. 
Okay, so, so far we've gotten... Chamomile. Completely restores lost stamina. Metal used during alchemic refining fr process. Your basic run-of-the-mill alchemic component. Created by polishing extracted man magnesium ore, this item is used by setting it on the ground. If an enemy runs over the magnesia, it will explode and do damage to them. Whoops. I wanted to comment. Uh, I guess she is one of the maids working here. She's so beautiful, almost too beautiful, it almost seems unnatural. It feels almost like it was custom tailored to fit me. It really clings to my shape quite nicely, although it feels a little tight in the chest area. Okay, we get the point. Oh. There wasn't anything else to, like, kick around. No. Okay, I suppose we can continue. Was there... Let me check back here again real quick. Was there a urn back here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tried to tackle it. Hey, I got it. Yeah, there wasn't anything in it, I guess. And there wasn't one in there either. Can I kick the broom? Nope. Okay, I suppose we will continue on forward, because I don't think we want to go back to that place. Okay. We'll go ahead and save again, since we've run around a little bit. Successfully saved. That was a quick save. Okay. The door there. Stairs leading down. A painting. Several people appear to be clasping their hands in prayer. It seems like this and the painting hanging next to it make up a set of twin paintings. And the footsteps are so loud. What's that on the wall? I guess I don't care about it. Huh? What's this? Antimony? Antimony? I don't know how to say that. Let's see what it is real quick. A hardened clump of antimony powder. Throw it and it explodes on impact. Its attack power is weak, but it can stun enemies for a short period of time. Okay. Where does this take us? Oh, literally nowhere. Door is locked from the other side. Ooh, what's going on here? <gasps> is this blood? I didn't like that. Okay. It's doing better. I don't know. Is that just telling me that there's a sanity mechanic? The door is locked from the other side. sound. Let's close the door. 
Come on, girl. Close the door. You can do it. Old scholarly masterpieces fill up the shelves. It's almost as if someone has been doing some research here. Not to state the obvious, but this is clearly the castle study. Did we know it was a castle? Huh, what's this? Lavender. There's something scribbled on the board. Luminescence. Luminescence are tiny creatures that respond to the ethereal energies given off by Azoth. They can be used to help drag down nearby Azoth. However, several precautions must be taken while handling them. 1. When luminescents come into direct contact with an Azoth-infused item or being, they send forth a small charge which shocks the carrier. The higher the concentration of Azoth in said carrier, the greater and more powerful the shock. 2. Luminescence lifespan is dramatically decreased whenever they come into direct contact with the open air. This time differs from specimen to specimen, but it's never much longer than a few minutes. Luminescence? Azoth? No clue what any of this means. Yeah, I hear ya. Okay. Okay, desk is locked. Oh, she's just gonna try it again. I wanted to look on the desk, but that's okay. There is this big book that's just lying out open. We should probably look at that. A massive book stands stalwart. Looks quite old, perhaps it's an, an antique? Well, we don't wanna read it, I guess. Nothing over here. Uh-oh. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> oh, gosh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Wasn't he just downstairs? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I knew exactly where I was. Can I run past him? Is there anything to... He knows that I'm right there, right? What is your deal, dude? Okay. Well, neither of those things have worked. That was locked. Oh, I closed it. I wanted to go through then close it. Oh, there we go. Oh no, what should I do? If I don't do something, that thing will get me. Press circle button when near closets or beds to hide and escape enemies that are pursuing you. While hiding, Fiona's maximum, er, her stamina recovers at an accelerated rate and her panic decreases at an increased speed. 
Also press circle button once more while hiding to exit the evasion point at any time. If you approach a possible evasion point while being pursued by an enemy, the words, wait a second, what's that? will be displayed. This is a hint that means there is an ev evasion point nearby. However, be warned that if you repeatedly hide in the same location over and over again, the enemy will soon catch wind of your hiding spot. Okay, well, it just told us that this is a valid hiding spot. I didn't see the prompt, though. You can't look around while you're down here. leave. You don't need to be here. He's really looking. So hopefully he's downstairs now. Run, run, run. You've obtained Bisque Doll. Nothing unusual. This box is barring my path, I can't get in. I bet I could somehow push it out of the way. Maybe by pushing it. Okay. Can I close it behind me? Can I close it behind me? Yes, okay. Nice. Nothing there. There's an urn over there. What kind of equipment is this? Looks old, but someone has taken painstaking, painstakingly good care of it. Nothing there. Such tremendous heat. With heat like this, I'm sure it's used for refining. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. A huge doll made of earth blocks the door. There's a slot-shaped hole in its chest. Okay. Well, I don't have anything that I can put in there, I don't think. What a strange mark. There's something about it that makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't want to comment on any books. So I need something to put in the golem. To... Oh, there's, a, there's an open book on this side. Can I read it? What's this? There's some kind of file here. You've obtained old parchment. Okay file. There we go. A deciphering of the Book of Origins, Sephiro Yatira, has uncovered the process for creating life from earth soil. This golem needs not nourishment nor sleep, making this earthen guardian the ultimate safekeeper of our deepest alchemic secrets and knowledge. I dub this creature Emeth. Okay. What does the doll do? Debilita's favorite plaything. It is covered with caked on dirt and gives off quite the pungent odor. 
can I like equip it and throw it later or something? Okay. Well, we briefly looked in this room earlier. A woman with wings protruding from her back. An angel, perhaps? I need to get better about knowing how to close doors. It's completely ruined. What could have happened here? These bird cages, man. Is this a bird cage? It looks like the remaining husk of a bird in the cage. Oops. It's terrible things that people do to animal these animals these days. It's just so upsetting. It's a nice chair. It's not a computer, that's for sure. It has alphabetic keys though. Like a typewriter? Well, we know that the, the, uh, golem dude's name is Ameth, right? Enter. What is this? It's a plate key. That sounds like what we need, probably. I mean, the only other thing I thought about trying was Debilitas. Close, please. Thank you. Huge doll made of earth blocks the door. There's a slot-shaped hole in its chest. Oh, I threw the doll. Well, crap. Oh, well. That's not, it's this, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't screw everything up. Use. Get out of the way, shall we? I'm glad we didn't make all the noise. Oh, I can just open that door? Where are we? I don't know that I should close this door, but we also made a ton of noise. Well, we're not gonna fall down there. Why did the stairs stop halfway? So we will have to use the ladder. Does this tell me anything? No. Oh, there's something shiny over there. Looks like an old well or something. The opening has been sealed up with a wooden board. Oh, here's the urns. Huh, what's this? Magnesia? Okay, I don't like that they're giving us items and stuff. 
So there's a door right here, or there's a door right here. I don't know where either of them lead. Okay, this one's locked. The door is locked. I will need to find a key if I'm going to get through this door. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and we are ready to continue. I wonder if how fast I move doesn't it means anything about how much noise I'm making. What is that noise? That song. Okay, there's a gate right there. Oops. I'm gonna have to find another way. If the gate is closed, there's no way through. I'm going to have to find another way. Okay, and I don't wanna say anything about these statues. There's a key. Oh my gosh. This harp is so large and bulky. It's hard to imagine people actually play these things. I love the harp. Harp may be my favorite instrument. Huh? What's this? see you finally awaken. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. Uh... <laughs> uh... How about no? Uh... in the future. Go what ahead. is it? You may touch it. No thanks. You will be mine, Fiona. <laughs> also no thanks. <laughs> what is this thing? It's really giving me the creeps. Why would anyone in their right mind put something like this here? Okay. Well, I should have explored before I did that. Huh, what's this? Chamomile. It has a rather sturdy look to it. A bookshelf of fine design. A wealth of information right before your fingertips. A lot of the books seem to be on the subject of music. Okay. What's over here? Literally nothing. What about these pictures on the walls? I don't care, I guess. I think I'll refrain from touching it. Heck, even looking at it makes my skin crawl. Well, I agree. Huh, what's this? Garden key. Do you think it's safe to leave? <laughs> I'm not gonna close that just in case I need to run back. I doubt that this is the garden key. The door is locked. Okay, it's not that one. I 
And I don't blame her for not wanting to jump across there. Okay, this is the room that I made all the noise in. Nothing there, just something can be refined is what it looks like. Okay, what do, Okay, I need to go to the garden. Nothing new in here. I didn't really imagine there would be. Sorry, it looked like a shiny down there. But I think it was just a... How it was lit. This won't be the garden key. Doors locked from the other side. Just close that door for me. Not this door. I figure we have to go out to the garden area first. But I want to exhaust all my options before we go out there. That ticking scared me. Save current game, yes. <laughs> Is there something on this wall? Looks like there's a picture frame or something. Well, we know that the guy's down in that direction. So I don't necessarily want to go there. Super bad. Is it going to be this door? I wouldn't call this the garden door. It's bolted shut from the other side. Okay, so that's not even a key door. Down, no, there's a box in front of this door. Okay. What would the garden key be for? There wasn't a key, there wasn't a locked place back here, was there? The hinge is rusted solid. Try as I may, I can't open this door. Okay. Well, we didn't get that last time. There's nothing there. Where do I use the garden key? I mean, this is the closest we've come to a garden. I don't really want to go back down here, but it's the only place I can think that we haven't gone. I just want to put the terrible things I saw back there behind me. I'm not going back, okay? So I missed a door somewhere. Where would I have missed a door? 
Can I kick the bucket? Oh, I can't tackle the bucket. Hmm. What am I missing? It's gotta be something obvious. There wasn't anything to unlock in here, right? Like, these are just windows. Yeah. And that doesn't help us. Okay. What doors have I not tried? Why am I so worn out here? There we go. A garden key. Hmm. And I tried down here. There wasn't anything in here, right? Nothing. Okay. Well, geez. Is it... Oh, shoot. I keep doing that. Is it that I have to use it? I can't use this here. Man, I really want to throw this, though, apparently. Is it that I just didn't try to use the key? Okay, so like if I try garden key use, can't use this item here. Okay, we tried in there, there wasn't anything new. There wasn't another door in here, was there? Yeah, nothing new there. I don't have anything that I can type into the typewriter that I can think of, at least. Huh. Okay. Let's try to use it on this door. This is not really a garden. Oh, it's this door. Okay. Yes. What is this? Is that a luminescence or whatever? Okay, luminescence are tiny creatures that feverishly pursue Fiona once they, once they have caught wind of her. When a luminescent makes contact with Fiona, it o not only puts her in a state of panic, but it also ruptures, producing a sound which attracts unwanted attention of nearby enemies. 
Luminescence do fade over time, but the most effective way to rid yourself of these troublesome creatures is to reach a neighboring area and close the door. Doing this cuts off the luminescence sensing abilities and stops them dead in their tracks. So can I open this door? And I can close it. So now I'm safe. That's what it's telling me, right? Why in the world is there a chair here? It's just a normal chair, right? Why would I sit down? Oh, I thought it was gonna make me sit down. There's something strange about this part of the floor. Oh, it's a clock. We can save. What? There's no knob. Now what do I do? Wait, there's a hook here. Maybe if I attach something to it, I could use that in place of a doorknob. Uh, do I have anything that I could do that with? It would have to be a special item, right? But not yet. Something up with this. Doesn't make much sense to me, not that anything in this place does. Okay. And this, if I could place something on it, something would happen. But I don't have a way to put anything on it. If I only had a chair. Here's a chair. Can I have chair? Probably from the same set. The chair itself looks to be of a standard design. Why can't I take it? Oh, what's this? Chicken jerky. I don't know that I'd eat it in this place. Looks like meat is being served. Appears they still haven't finished preparing it. No, they probably have. There's nothing in the pot. Buried, ornate, high-class china lines, on, lines the shelf. pretty elaborate. Large tapestry is suspended here. I wonder if this is an embroidery of one of the castle's many crests. What's this on the table? Why are there so many candlesticks on this table, huh? What's this? You've obtained cracked plate key. Interesting. Whoops, why are there so many candlesticks? What's that side? Is this a hidey place? It doesn't really, oh, I could probably hide here. I'm not gonna mention the hole knocked out in the wall. You unlock the door. Where does this take me? I heard thumping. I'm gonna stay here for a second. And listen. Nope. I don't hear anything.
What's down here? More stairs. This plywood paneled door is blocking my path, but it could be broken through easily enough. Well, apparently not. push it or anything. Okay. I'm gonna save, and I'll, uh, cut this one here. Uh, it's different than I was expecting, uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's very puzzly, so you'll have to bear with me through the puzzles, because you know that I'm not great with them if you followed me for any stretch of time. Uh, but yeah, until next time, uh, thanks for hanging out with me this time.